to state the function represented by each of the following graph. So to know how the graph look like, you should know what is the basic graph. So we see here, this one looks like tangent graph, right? Because why? So tangent, so you have this dotted line where something like this, something like this and something like this. So this one is 90, 90 is pi over 2 and this one is 3 pi over 2. Okay, and this one is 2 pi and this one is 0. This is how the graph looks like for tangent. Okay, so we have another one which is this one looks like sine, no, looks like it is sine x and this one is cos x. This is y is equal to cos x. So you have to remember how the shape first. So when you, when you write the shape, then you can see, oh, this one is the tangent function graph. And you see here, this one is, you see here, this one is cosine graph. So, this is cos function graph. So, but this one is the initial one. So, you have to do, you have, we have to know what is the uh, function represented. Okay. So, here tangent x, we know that tangent x, the graph looks like this. So, this one, this one. So, something like this, like this and like this. Where this one is pi over 2, 90 degree, right? And this one is 3 pi over 2. So, we see here, this one is 2 pi and this one is also up to 2 pi. You see here, the period is equal. That means, you know that tangent Bx, B is represented by the period. And we see here, the period is the same. So, that means this one is tangent x. This one is tangent x. But then you see here, tangent x should start from 0. But this one start from 3. So, we can say that this one is being shifted up or there's a translation of 3. See, it's going up by 3. So, going up by 3, that means the whole graph is being added by 3 by because the function is represented by y, y tangent x. So when y is added with 3, then the graph will go up. So this one, y is equal to tangent x plus 3. Okay, for b, so we see that before this one is cos x, but then you see here for cos x, this one is supposed to end, this one. You should get the shape at 360. But then here you see you get the shape. You get three shape within 360. That means that one shape, the period of one shape is 120. Because 360 divided by 120, you get 3. So here we know that it is cos x, right? So y is equal to cos x. So if you get y is equal to cos 3x, then one cycle will end up at 120. So we know this is 3x. But then this one and this one is not similar. So we have to know what is the amplitude. So amplitude for this one, this one is 1 and this one is supposed to be negative 1. So the distance here is the amplitude which is 1. So if you see here, this one is from 1 to negative 3. That means the distance here is 4. So, the middle one here, so from here to the midpoint is supposed to be, the distance is 2, right? So, here should be y is equal to 2 cos 3x and here you are supposed to get, so actually same with that one, so up to 120 and this one is 2 and this one is negative 2. But you see here, this one doesn't start with 2. It starts with 1. And this one is negative 3. So you can see that the graph go down. So it go down or shifted down by 1. So that means the value of y is, one, is reduced by 1. So we know that this one is y is equal to 2 cos 3x. Now y is equal to 2 cos 3x and we minus the value of y by 1. So, this is how we get this function where this one 2 will become 1. Negative 2 minus 1, you get negative 3. And 0 will become negative 1.